remind me of this this quarterback here. Do you, yes, you know sir. this one? Ben Roethlisberger. Why would I say that? Uh, size, physical, yeah. um, stature. Nobody. He's Mr. Anonymous He's from, from Ohio. Miami no one even Ohio. knew how to say Roethlisberger. Try right. saying Blake Bortles five times fast, can you? <laughs> Blake Bortles, Blake Bortles, Blake Bortles, Blake Bortles, yeah. Blake Bortles. That's what people got to start saying, man, because you remind me of Ben Roethlisberger. Do you study him and his style of play? I have. Yeah. What have you even noticed? I think the stuff he's able to do with his size, um, you know, being that big and kind of moving around in the pocket, throwing off platform, doing all those unorthodox things, uh, you know, outside of the pocket, extending plays. When you two play, isn't there a fine line between giving up on a play and throwing it away yeah, and I extending so. the play? Yeah. So when I watch you, sometimes you get smashed. Yeah. And then sometimes you make the greatest play I've ever seen. Yeah. Bortles gets away from one, two, three guys and still on his feet. And you're able to make something happen. And it's just, it's something that you bring to the table, isn't it? Yeah, sir. I think it's just a little extra piece of my game. It's something that the defense has to account for. But this, this Ben Roethlisberger comparison, I'm not way off base, am I? No, sir. And how about under fire? When nobody's blocked, or you know right. you're going to get hit. Yeah. You stand in there pretty darn right. good, don't you? Yeah. That's making those uh, those leadership throws. You know, guys see that. Guys get fired up. They want to play for a guy that, that'll do stuff like that. You know, you throw throw a comeback on a dime and get get your helmet knocked off. You know, stuff like that. You know, that, that, that stuff fires me up. But let me make this point to you. Let's eliminate the fire. Right. And let's go to work every day trying to eliminate the fire because I don't want you under fire. Sometimes right. I look at you, and the best thing I can say about you is you make some really good audibles in this game, okay? Yeah. You made two or three excellent tight window throws. You brought his team back to win in the fourth quarter. Unbelievable under fire. And I might write unbelievable under fire three times. Unbelievable <laughs> under fire four times. All right. So now as I read my write-ups, you know what I say? Man, this guy's under a lot of fire. Yeah. So what I want you to do is what? Eliminate the fire. I don't want you under fire. Right. Ever. Right. Because I want you to play 12 years. That's right. It's just inevitable. If you're under fire a lot, you're going to get burned. Right. Come on, you got the golden night out here. I have my eyes set on me to sit there and say, you know, I, I turned over every stone and did everything I could to prepare myself to be the best player for this situation that I could possibly be in, to be hopefully the number one pick. You know, let's rip some faces off, all right? Oh, I love it. I think the future is bright if he gets on the gas pedal and continues to commit himself to be great. We're simulating some fire. When he committed himself, he became a force at the quarterback position. He's going to have to double his efforts to maximize his potential. Go champs on three. One, two, three. Good job, guys. Appreciate it a lot.